What is going on, everybody? It is me again. It's HorrorFan34. I'm back in the room with the brand new background, brand new posters and all that stuff. Uh, you can probably see them in the background. So, back up in the room here, because i um, back to doing videos up here. Um, I figured I'm just going to stick with, you know, doing the unboxings and all that stuff downstairs. In that background setting, I'm going to do my rest of my videos, like, up here. But I figured I did a review down there just because I wanted to try it out and things like that. But I'm going to stick with just unboxings downstairs and the unboxings and all that stuff. And the reviews and all that stuff up here. So I'm back in the room once I'm back in the room. And I figured I'd, I'd do a response video to my good buddy Rob. Uh, Rob's collection uh, did his top 10 favorite Stallone films. And I figured I'd do my own list as well. Did a really great job on his list. So I figured I'd give you guys my top 10 favorite Sylvester Stallone films. So, without further ado, let's get on to the list. And I hope you guys enjoy the new background I have right here, all these posters. So, number 10. I See You. In my opinion, I think it's Stallone's most underrated movie because... This and another film that I'm going to mention was the closest thing that Stallone got to do being in a horror movie where basically um, the serial killer has gone around killing all these cops and you have Stallone as a detective who's trying to solve the case and things like that and it's headed by a great cast of people. You have people besides Stallone, you, all, you have Tom Berenger, Charles Dutton, Sean Patrick Flannery, Dina Meyer, Robert Patrick... Robert Prosky, Courtney B. Vance, Jeffrey Wright, Chris Christopherson. Just a hell of a cast of people. And surprisingly enough, from the director of... I know what he did last summer, did this film. But Stallone's most underrated movie. Uh, this and one of the closest things he ever got to do being in a horror movie. And I love this movie. I think it's Stallone's most underrated movie. And it's one of his best performances, too. I love I See You. Number nine, another underrated one that he did, Copland. Copland is fantastic. I think this is easily one of Stallone's best performances as well, along with I See You. I mean, once again, this is headed by a great cast of people. Robert Patrick is also in this one as well, but you also have... Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, Peter Berg, Janine Garofalo, Michael Rappaport. Directed by James Mangold, who did Identity, Logan, The New Wolverine in 2013, and a couple of other things. Yeah, Copland. Underrated Stallone film, especially for his performance, um, where he's the sheriff in this town called Copland, where there's a bunch of corrupt corruption going on and things like that. I mean, this film is criminally underrated. I love Copland. Number eight is a film that I absolutely adore and love very much. A uh, very inspiring film, too. Um, it gets trashed a lot, but I love it. Over the top. Really unique idea where, basically, it's an, a movie about arm wrestling. Really enough. And I think Stallone does a great job as Lincoln Hawk, who's a guy who's a struggling truck driver, who um, has a son, played by David Mendenhall, and, he, and his, his asshole grandfather, played by Robert Loja. And basically, you know, Robert Loja, you know, Robert Loja's a great bad guy in this. Basically, you know, Stallone is trying to you know, reunite with his son and, you know, bond with his son and things like that. But, you know, the grandfather, Robert Loja, is such an asshole and you find out, like, he did everything possible to drive his grand his grandson's parents away because he didn't approve of their relationship and things like that. And it comes to this whole point where the tournament happens and things like that. And eventually, like, over time, the father and son start to bond with one another uh, it's a really well done flick. I love this musical, so I love the soundtrack. Um, and I, I think it's easily one of Stallone's 
most underrated movies. I love Over the Top. Uh, let's see. Number seven, another one that I love to death that's underrated, Lock Up. Easily one of Stallone's most under, another one of his most underrated performances. I mean, basically, Stallone is in this maximum security prison, and it's headed by this evil warden, played very well by Donald Sutherland. Uh, directed by John Flynn, same guy that did uh, uh, Alfred Justice with Seagal, Brain Scan with Everett Furlong. You also have people like John Amos, Frank McRae, Sonny Landham, may he rest in peace, Sonny Landham. Music by Bill Conti. I mean, this film is criminally underrated. I love Lock Up. One of Stallone's best performances. Number six I don't have, but I'm going to mention it, Rocky. I mean, what more can you say about Rocky that has not been said before? Number five. I have the Artisan Special Edition Rambo Trilogy, but I'm holding this up for... My number five, Rambo First Blood Part Two. It's my favorite of the Rambo films. I love that movie a lot. Where he has to rescue POWs and things like that. It's, you know, I love all the Rambo films. I love the four Rambo films. Uh, the, the first four I love. The, the, the fifth one's pretty decent, but the first four films are without a doubt like the best ones. I, especially I love Rambo Two and Three, but especially Rambo Two, you know, love the story. Wonderful action in the film as well. And I think, yeah, directed by George P. Cosmatos. Same guy that did Tombstone and a lot of other stuff. But I love Rambo too. It's my favorite of the Rambo films. Number four. Wonderful action film from the 90s. Demolition Man. I love the back and forth between him and Wesley Snipes. You also have people like Sandra Bullock in the film. You have a couple of other small people, like appearances like uh, Dennis Leary, Jack Black, have the small appearances in this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this film is a classic 90s action movie. The, the These two work very well together, Stallone and Wesley Snipes. Great flick. Number three, Cliffhanger. Love this movie, basically Die Hard on a Mountain, uh, where Stallone is a uh, rock climber, and there's a, these there's these terrorists that take over this mountain, headed by John Lithgow. You also have people like uh, uh, Michael Rooker, who plays Stallone's buddy, uh, Paul Winfield, who is in The Terminator. You have Leon as one of the bad guys. I mean, Cliffhanger is fantastic. Um, directed by Rennie Harlan. Probably my favorite Rennie Harlan film that he directed. I love Cliffhanger. It's definitely one of the best action films from the 90s. Number two, Tango and Cash. My favorite buddy cop film of all time. Excellent back and forth and chemistry between Stallone and Kurt Russell. I mean, hell, it's... Rambo and Jack Burton together in a movie, it's the, or Snake Plissken, however you want to put it. I mean, these two work very well together. Jack Palance is your main bad guy. You also have small appearances by people like Robert Zadar, who is the maniac cop himself. I mean, Tango and Cash is great. My favorite buddy cop film. And, of course, my number one favorite Sylvester Stallone film of all time is, without a doubt, Cobra. Like I said before, when I mentioned ICU, this and, and Cobra were, you know, the two of the closest things that Sloan got to doing being in a horror movie. And also directed by George P. Cosmatos, who did Tombstone, Rambo 2. I think the year the year before this, he did Rambo 2. Uh, like I said, you have, uh, what's it, well, Brian Thompson as the Night Slasher. I mean, I mean, Cobra is great 80s action fun it's violent and just a really fun flick 
So that's pretty much it. That's my top 10 favorite Stallone films. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I, Rob, I did a response to you for this. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. You guys take care.